let's get started spinning with the Level Wine System Ghost e-spinner. This lovely little machine comes with a lot of different options. You can get the Ghost with the manual flyer or with the Level Wine System Auto Winder, which auto winds your bobbin for you. It comes with bobbins, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that as well, but first, let's get the machine set up and ready to go. Now, it should come ready to go right out of the box, but I wanted to demonstrate very quickly putting the drive band on, just in case something happens and it is off or it is not lined up the way that it should be. The way this machine is designed is really quite wonderful and intuitive. In order to get the drive band on, you just need to gently move the motor back and it slips right into the groove where it's supposed to go and you're all set. Your tensioning band should be uh, automatically attached as well and I'll talk a little bit about that as I move forward. So let's get started first with the manual flyer. So the manual flyer comes with two arms. I've got the leader hook balanced out on here so it'll stay balanced and I'm going to get the bobbin set up and ready for spinning. The great thing with these bobbins is that they have the clips that come off. So you have the choice of either running your leader yarn through the hole or simply slipping it into the groove and clipping it onto the bobbin. Slip the bobbin onto the flyer. Then I'm going to set it into the back hole and set it into the front. Make sure that the drive band is around both grooves, like so. Put the brake band over the bobbin as well, and then connect that to the tensioning system up in front, like so. And we are ready to connect the power. These machines come with a foot pedal. And the nice thing with the foot pedal, everything is labeled so you know exactly where to plug each piece in. So I know that the foot pedal is going to go there. And then it comes with a power supply and the power to spinner and the power to, or the power in and the power to spinner. So I'm going to connect the power to the spinner first. and then the power from source. The blue light indicates that it's ready to go. You have your standard S, neutral, and Z twist for a single. I'm going to start with the Z twist. And then there is the optional orifice reducer as well. And all that does is it's a magnetic and it just slips right on. That is the manual setup. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the auto winder as well and demonstrate spinning. With the auto winder, you want it to start in the neutral middle position. I usually set the speed 
slow. And we are ready to start spinning. I do have the orifice reducer on. I'm going to get the leader started. There's lots and lots of different ways to do this. Usually I just fold a little bit of the fiber over first and I'm going to build up a little bit of my bobbin before I turn my auto winder on. To increase or reduce tension, I simply need to move that knob right there. Once I have a feel for it and I have a little bit of a leader built on, I'm going to go ahead and turn the auto winder on and then continue spinning.